What is up everyone? Um, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is my Q&A. Technically the Q&A that I should have done for 1000 subscribers, but ended up not doing it. I'm so sorry. I had all the questions answered. I just never, I even recorded, I think I recorded the audio three times. I just never got around to doing like the video. We're gonna do this Q&A. We're gonna do it right this time. So basically you guys sent in some questions and I will post them up on the screen. All right, so starting off, um, we got my lovely, lovely friend here asking me when I met Sami. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sami is the supposedly, I was trying to make him unnamed person who I keep drawing in my videos. I met him in college, for those of you who don't know. Uh, basically, I remember sitting outside one day, I was on the phone with my mom, I was doing my math homework, and he comes out of the dorm. We live in the same dorm. Um, and we made eye contact, and then he walked away, and I never forgot it. Then, I think it was around September 4th, there was a showing of Shrek, and he went to the same showing I did. I eventually ended up finding him on Instagram, and we ended up following each other. We officially started talking September 7th, and we officially met in person to talk to each other on September 11th. Okay, next question. Um, what is a food you absolutely cannot stand? Chicken Alfredo. Ch I, I hate chicken Alfredo so much, I can't even smell it. I literally just want to just, I feel sick. Um, and then, who are my top three fa um, favorite characters to draw? Or well, my favorite or top three. I'm gonna do top three. Um, to draw, um, I'm gonna list humans and cats because I feel those are very different. Um, I really enjoy drawing the Dark Knight Joker. Um, he is just a very fun human to draw. And then I really like drawing General Hux as a human. Um, he was one of the first humans I was able to get right. Um, and I really honestly enjoy drawing i'm gonna say myself um i'm gonna say myself for humans because i genuinely know how to draw myself That's, i'm now moving on to cats or just plain animals um my top favorite character to draw um a lot of people would think it is loki because i draw him so much but honestly my favorite character to draw would be ghost ferns thor i just draw him so differently every time and i just love all of the fluff he has it just it makes me really happy General Hux. My General Hux design. He's just so amazing. I can't, like, I've drawn him so much. Um, uh, and then on um, the bottom, my last one, the third one, is gonna have to be Saturn. Um, I learn something new about bat anatomy every time I draw her, and she's just really fun to draw. I don't know what to say. They're just amazing. Uh, next one, what is your favorite color slash colors? Um, <laughs> I don't know if you could tell by Saturn's lovely design. I like purple. I love purple. What do you use to draw? Oh, this is a great question. Okay, so for drawing, I use Metabang Paint. Um, it's free. You can get it for your computer and you can get it for your tablet. Uh, I use that to draw. However, for animation now, I've been leaning more towards Fire Alpaca. And when I'm in a Zoom class, I use Fire Alpaca because due to the internet feature with Metabang, it just doesn't work. Um, my Zoom meetings freeze, but they don't freeze when I have Fire Alpaca open, so you know, <sighs> I draw during class. Uh, this one, I have to call him out. I'm sorry. I know I said I wasn't going to call people out. This one, legitimately, I have to. Uh, Sami wrote this one. He asked, who gives better kisses, your boyfriend or your cat? He will not agree He will not be happy with my answer. My cat Murdoch literally jumps in my lap and will not stop kissing me. He'll literally nudge his whole face. I can, like, seriously, in five minutes, he'll have slobber all over my face. He's like a dog with that. What is your favorite color of the alphabet? Uh, blue. Uh, I don't, I seriously, I feel like that is something I'm missing because I'm getting older and I'm losing, I'm losing touch with, uh, internet jokes, but, um, <clears throat> anyways, in all seriousness, describe your personality in five words. I thought about this a lot. I would say anxiety, creativity, uh, cats, just cats, no context, cats, and then I'm gonna use two words to describe another one, um, uh, artistic ideas 
and that deals with like all of the ideas I have stuck in my head. That's that's the best I can give you. I'm bad at that stuff. Um, how long have you been drawing? Um, I actually started drawing in 2013. Um, that's when I actually um, started drawing for real. And that's when I started drawing digitally. I took art seriously the moment I started drawing digitally. And I didn't have any prior experience, so my art looks absolutely bad. Um, if you look at my pain map part, um, I linked it in somebody's um, comments. That's just, that's my art. <laughs> um, that was my old art. I really didn't know what was going on. But, um, and then how do you always have so good map ideas and enforceability to complete them? This is a great, great question. Um, one good thing about map ideas, and, and um, this will probably help complete them, is do songs that are really catchy, and do songs that when you genuinely hear them, you can listen to it over and over and over again, because that is what you need. What is your favorite MCU character? Loki. Next question. What is your favorite meme? Um, Shrek memes. I like Shrek. I like Shrek, unironically. I'm gonna have to go with Shrek. All right, more. Who is your favorite animator? Um, I honestly can't pick anymore, and I'm kind of a little scared to pick, especially with um, how, how I've seen a lot of animators like act in their personal life. I'm just, I'm scared to say a favorite animator that is currently active. I'm gonna say who, ins um, I'm just gonna go to what, who inspired me to animate. Um, um, Warrior Spyro, um, I, um, they made a lot of Warrior Cat content that I just kept re-watching. Re um, and I, of course I already answered the what do you use to animate question. Uh, can I make you an animation meme? Absolutely. I have a folder for fan art. And I absolutely would love more fan art. It makes me cry. Um, so yes, most certainly, you can make me an animation meme. You can make me as much as you want. Um, just please make me aware of it. I don't constantly look up Saturn Sky's animation meme. So <laughs> just make me aware of it. Um, even if um, the video is not relevant to it, if you're genuinely telling me like, hey, I drew you fan art, like here it is. That's a different story than you just saying, please go watch my video. You know what I mean? So, any other hobbies slash things you like to do in your free time other than drawing? Um, I like doing puzzles, and I like doing, like, color by number, stuff like that. Um, I'm currently doing a diamond painting, which is very similar. I would definitely look up what they are. They're very fun. Uh, what is your least favorite part in the drawing process? Drawing backgrounds. I'm absolutely horrible at it. Um, one of my New Year's resolutions is to get better at drawing them, but a lot of that just is me having the time to get better with them, especially keeping up the video upload schedule that I have, which is going to be a challenge, but I'm slowly figuring out how to make them more efficient, how make them look better in an efficient time manner. Uh, uh, who is your first OC, OC slash character? Um, this one's a little difficult. Um, I do believe it is a character I don't own anymore. Um, his name was Skull. Um, he was a character for a series that I trashed and no longer be done but yeah he was very edgy he had like red marks all over him and he was black cat and was oh, absolute edge lord right there what's your favorite ship in the mcu if you have one uh mcu of course stands for marvel cinematic universe for those of you who don't know i don't really ship characters in marvel um i just it's not that i don't like ships it's just i never i was never really one big on shipping unless it's two characters that I'm very passionate about. But the only character I'm like absolutely passionate about in Marvel right now is Loki. And if there's another one I'm kind of passionate about, I don't ship them, whether because you know they're related or something. So when did you first get into Marvel? I definitely got into Marvel around Infinity War, like right after Infinity War came out. Um, so that's around 2018. When did you realize you like drawing slash animating? Um, the moment I started. Uh, I started in 2013 digitally, um, that was my first time starting drawing ever. Um, I started it because I wanted to be an inspiration to people. I wanted to do what my inspirations were doing and I wanted people to watch my videos and say, wow, I want to animate now. Um, like, wow, I want to join this community of people. And the fact that I've already done that for even just a few people absolutely makes me cry a little bit. I'm kind of tearing up thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, definitely around 2013. 
What Marvel characters or character is somebody that you cannot stand? Odin. Um, Odin is the worst character alive. I absolutely despise him. He's just awful. He's the worst father ever. I don't trust people who say their favorite character is Odin. I just don't. I'm sorry. Um, I side eye you a little bit. I have to be completely honest. <laughs> um, who is your favorite actor, dead or alive? Uh, my favorite actor is going to have to be Heath Ledger. He got me into DC with his amazing portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight. Um, unfortunately, he has passed away. How did you get into Marvel? Uh, this is a good one. My history teacher in high school showed us a trailer for Infinity War, and I was very interested in the guy with the blue cube, obviously Loki. Uh, I was very interested by him, but I didn't really do anything until after Infinity War came out. Then I watched Infinity War. I was confused but intrigued. So then I went and I watched Thor Ragnarok and then proceeded to cry because the character I decided to love the most was dead. Um, and then after that, I just started watching different uh, movies. I still haven't watched them all because it was hard to find them all. Um, I'm not really someone who pirates movies, um, which is kind of why I'm thankful that I'm going to get Disney Plus soon so I can finally hopefully watch all of them. But yeah, that's how I got into Marvel. What made you choose a bat as your mascot? Um, DC. I liked DC a lot. I was a big DC nerd when I made Saturn. Uh, and I didn't really like anything else, so bats are bats like a symbol of DC. Plus, bats are just cool. Um, I knew I wanted to have a persona that stood out. Um, you know, like a lot of people have cats and dogs and wolves and lions and stuff like felines and canines. Um, but I knew I wanted something different. I wanted something that not many people had. Um, and bats. Bats are one of those. What character that you frequently draw do you find the most challenging? I'm gonna have to go with uh, Thor, Ghost Ferns. I always end up missing something on him. Um, it's not even that he's complicated, it's just that I forget, especially since I've drawn him so much. It's easy for me to draw him, I can draw him by memory at this point, but it's just, it's so challenging to draw him. Ex um, I would put Steve in this category too. I'm just really bad at drawing dogs. Where do you get all your map ideas, you queen? Um, a good magician never reveals her secrets. <laughs> uh, Top three characters from any fandoms that you hate. Uh, Odin from Marvel. Um, I'm gonna have to go with... Ooh, how do I piss the most people off with my Star Wars hating? Hmm. I hate a lot of characters um, in Star Wars. That sounds mean, but yikes, I do. <laughs> my least favorite character is... Honestly, honestly, Anakin Skywalker. I don't like him. I just don't. I, everyone yells at me. Uh, I just really don't like him. Uh, no offense to anyone who likes him though. And then I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Captain Hook <laughs> from Once Upon a Time. I've never liked him, but I'm a Peter Pan fan, so obviously that makes sense. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have my lovely baby boy Murdoch. Um, he is my best friend ever. I absolutely love him. He's also my emotional support animal. And then there's also the family cat Num Num, which isn't technically my pet, but he's a family cat, so, you know, I have to deal with him. I know a lot of your favorite male villains. Okay, call out. Call out. Um, but do you have any favorite female villains? No. No, that's mean. Um, I do. Phasma from Star Wars is my favorite female villain. Um, I like her and Hux a lot. They're on, like, the same equal scale in a sense. But other than that, I just I just really like male villains. I don't know why. What inspired your persona? Um, I'm gonna assume you're referring to the cat version of myself. Um, but I'm gonna go with the cat version of myself and the way I draw myself as a human. Um, definitely, just kind of the way my hair parts just kind of looks like like really weird bangs. Um, and that's what made me think of the really interesting designs on Piper. Favorite thing to draw? Mmm, cats. I'm just gonna go with cats. <laughs> um, A and B or P and B? It depends. Um, I like honestly doing a mix of both. Um, what are my ethnicities? I'm white. I'm from America. I'm a white American. I don't really know what else people expect. <laughs> um, what motivates you to draw? Um, all of you guys, honestly, all of you guys motivate me to draw. Every time I get sucky about my drawings and stuff and just think I should quit, I remember the amazing fan base I have and the amount of people who support me, and I cannot 
to keep drawing without you guys. Um, what do I most enjoy about my channel? Um, I like my upload schedule. I'm very passionate about my upload schedule. Um, for those of you who do know me a little bit, you know how, um, how I can get stressed about my upload schedule. And those are all the questions. Um, sorry if I sounded weird or anything. Uh, sorry for it being so long, but I do hope you enjoyed, even if you didn't watch the whole thing. Um, and thank you. If you, if you honestly got this far, tell me, because kudos to you. I cannot do it. I cannot listen to myself talk that long. But thank you for watching. I uh, hope you s continue to stay for my awesome other videos. Hope this maybe satisfied some of your questions, you know, made you happy. But yeah, uh, see you in the next video, I suppose. Goodbye.